So one of the sectors, in my final question, one of the sectors which saw a whole host of litigation and it will probably continue to see for some more time is the whole telecom sector. Uh, it's not one, it's not two, it's not one court, it's multiple courts, multiple petitions. Do you see at all some clarity emerging there or do you think this litigation is just going to continue? And where do you think the government went wrong that it has opened up such a Pandora's box of everybody jumping in, taking different forums and multiple cases at this point of time being heard? See, what, according to me, what happened, say, in 2001, and again in 2007, they are aberrations. It's not that the system is uh, flawed. And therefore, now that history has shown that there will be retribution, if you cross the lines, if you transgress uh, rules and laws, if you try to benefit uh, uh, individuals, if uh, you uh, seek to be corrupt. Now, since all this has happened, the future, according to me, would be free from all these stains. No, but at, at present, sir, the sector is embroiled with multiple cases. Each entity is filing against the government, the regulator, etc., etc. Do you see the haze clearing there at all? Is there a way to put an end to this so that the sector gets on? No, the there is a good uh, hierarchy of tribunals in position. You got a TRI, then above that is a the pure judicial tribunal, the TD set. The TD set is presided over by a judge of the Supreme Court. There is a right of appeal to the Supreme Court of India. With all this, this hierarchy of uh, judicial authorities in place, in the future, according to me, there will be uh, this sort of thing should not be there because it is this same hierarchy you will find in various uh, other uh, areas of industrialization, for example, power projects, then electricity and so on. Therefore, uh, if there are no problems there of this nature, why should there be a problem in telecommunications? That's why I said separations. It's because people try to uh, twist the system or go around, get around the system for their private benefit. This won't happen again in future, according to me. So the government's tried to bring in or is bringing in this whole judicial accountability bill. What are your views on that? I think it's absolutely necessary. A judicial accountability bill is, has to be there because in a democracy there cannot be any organ of state, there cannot be any institution which is not totally transparent in its functioning and if it violates the laws and the rules as has been happening in other areas, they have to be brought to book. But the system has never operated against the judiciary because of the power of contempt. And therefore, so far as that is concerned, uh, you have to modify the uh, uh, laws relating to contempt or you have to set up this judicial uh, in, in the United States, uh, in California, they started with the uh, uh, commit Commission on Judicial Performance where that commission could issue a notice to a judge and ask him to answer on complaints filed by 10 lawyers or 10 persons who have sworn to the correctness of the statement. And a mere notice to the judge was sufficient to ensure that all the others uh, fell in line and did not uh, in any manner uh, violate the rules. But today there has been a lack of confidence in the judiciary and in the higher judiciary, as has been pointed out by retired Chief Justices, Chief Justice uh, Venkatramaya pointed that out when he laid down office. Uh, Chief Justice uh, uh, this, uh, Varma, J.S. Varma has pointed it out. Chief Justice Barucha has pointed it out while he was still uh, Chief Justice uh, of uh, India, that there are a large number of uh, a certain percentage of judges are not uh, above board. Now, when with so much of uh, knowledge and information has been brought out by the uh, Chief Justices, who should know because they tour all the states, they meet all the judges, and they know what is happening, and then to still uh, keep quiet and allow things to go along as if nothing is happening, everything is fair, everything is transparent. It's not so. Therefore, you, it's time has come when uh, there has to be an accountability bill.
Does 2013 promise to be equally busy for you? <laughs> Is your diary full already with more and more litigation? <laughs> I wish no, you I all think the best. I think it will be a much better year. Thank you very much for talking to us, sir. Thank you. All right.